Hi, thanks for joining us. Today we're having mental health chats and we are talking with Liam. So I'm Sasha King from 221 Mental Health Charity and we're going to be discussing some ways of coping and um, some journeys of mental health. Thank, thanks so much for being with us today, Liam. That's it's good. <laughs> So Liam, my first question before we start chatting about mental health, I'd just like to know a little bit about you. Uh, so, hey, I'm Liam, I'm 18. I grew up in Darwin and uh, in my spare time, I usually am working or looking for work. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a tough uh, work environment out there at the moment. So I would like to know from you, my first question is, how, what do you think the words mental health mean? To me, mental health is, I'll, I'll, I'll say mental health is the response we have when we're faced with challenges. So I, I, I totally agree that when we have good mental health, we have a, a lot better ability to cope with changes and challenges. Um, and when we have poor mental health, we kind of might struggle a little, a little bit more with um, changes and challenges in our life. Yeah. And I think right now a lot of people might be really struggling with uh, some of the changes and challenges going on uh, with the world at the moment. Yeah. Um, Liam, would you mind telling us a little bit about your journey with mental health? Um, personally, I've always sort of struggled with mental health. Um, I've sort of found that it's impacted a lot of my personal relationships with people, my, um, my sort of way I sort of have learned all my work, life and events, um, my, my ability to set long-term goals. Yeah. Um, and do you feel like um, you've learned any lessons from having mental health problems or you've learned strategies um, for life through having mental health problems? I feel like you'll, you kind of do learn how to cope with a lot of your struggles in sort of your own way. Because um, when, when you struggle with mental health, like challenges just sort of come up everywhere um, in places that seem really big to you, but everyone else kind of doesn't seem to experience them. Yeah, so maybe you have more challenges, but you have learnt strategies of how to, how to manage those challenges because they might come up more often than other people. Yeah. Um, I do have another question for you. Is that, is there some things you can notice when you might be struggling or have a lot of um, barriers around you due to your mental health? Is there something, some changes you can notice in yourself or how you're acting? Uh, yeah. Um, like one, one thing I struggle with is communication, which you might notice, um, but also just sort of feeling confident within myself what yeah, was the question sorry. i'm sorry that's okay um and is there some ways that people like or that you can pick up that you are maybe having a little bit more impact that you're not feeling confident or you're feeling a little bit lower in yourself is there some things that you notice that shows in thoughts or actions or what does that look like for you i i tend to isolate myself a lot more than i would and i also just find it easier to give up on things um so if i have like a goal i've been working on it's just really easy to give up on it when my mental health goes i think that's a really great point to bring up is that with mental health problems it's not that you don't want that goal it's that you know the mental health has become a barrier to achieve that goal at this point in time so it's it's not that people change it's just that we get a bit unwell and it stops us from having all the things that we do want to have in that moment. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about um, what you do when you do become, your mental health does become poor? What are some strategies that have worked for you before? I, I probably don't have like the best track history of healthy, healthy coping mechanisms. Um, but things that I do try is just distracting myself. So I'll watch a lot of movies or I'll listen to a lot of music and you know, or I'll put sort of it uh, I'll do something artistic so I'll draw something or do some cooking or something yeah uh, great so, and yeah. I think 
yeah so i guess distraction is 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 good for the moment um and sometimes those expressive things especially like creative things can be really helpful in um, a coping strategy so um my next question for you is that people are pretty stressed right now you know all these changes going on in, around in the world um, and just generally life feels a bit more stressful for people is there a coping strategy or something that you've used before in hard times that you think would be helpful for people to know about I think one thing that helps is avoid media that's causing you distress so just take a break if it's causing a lot of stress um, and another thing is just reaching out if you need help just find someone to talk to about it and you know try and gain support or even if you're not confident to talk about your problems just reach out to someone to talk about I don't know, a film you've just watched or something interesting. <laughs> so making sure you're having those sort of still having that communication and connection and being aware of when you do need to talk to someone. Yeah. Liam, thank you so much for joining us today. That was Liam on Mental Health Chats. I'm Sasha from 221 Mental Health Charity and thank you for improving wellness. Mm -hmm.